Hey you guys, Snowy88 here. Today I'm going to put an SSD into something. And well, what that something is, you well you can can, can guess. It can be either in this thing or in that thing, but alright, it will be in this thing. And there's a story behind this because I bought the Synology uh this station to host just primarily my you know my backup server for little programs I sometimes need when I'm on the way etc etc and in all my stupidness I bought myself a Western Digital red hard drive of three terabytes three terabytes so a few days ago I was like hmm let's see how many data I actually use in this system and it was not more than 16 to 17 gigabytes Oh my gosh, 16 to 17 gigabytes, what a waste of space. And at the same time, I have a bigger server around here, you know, which is packed of uh, all kind of goodies, uh, TV shows, movies, you know, all the uh, not so legal stuff, but you know, you, okay, we don't talk about that. Uh, but I, I thought to myself, this thing, because it's running 24-7, uh, hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days per year, and a uh, thousand years per millennium, and uh, well, I think maybe longer. I thought to myself, this needs to scale down a bit. So, I got this. Okay, an envelope. Okay. I got myself a this! Yes! We are going Druaga one style! We are going to install an SSD into something! Isn't that funny? Yeah. Uh, you know, I actually wonder if this would work, you know, into in a simple NAS system like a Synology. So, um, this thing was ridiculously cheap. It's a 120 gigabyte uh, SU650 ADATA. SSD, it was only 25 euros. Now maybe for your uh, the American view, that's 30 bucks. It's ridiculous. It's like, you know, five years ago you paid like a month salary for, for an SSD of this size. Ah, about that. Okay, anyway, le let's unpack this and let's put it in here, turn it on and let's see how many smokes it comes off. Um, First of all, I need a screwdriver because I have to mount it here. Uh, let, the screw, let me get the screwdriver here. Okay. Now let's uh, let's open it. This very delicate. <coughs> okay. Forget about the delicacy. Or maybe uh, it can be open delicate. Yes. Okay. You know, actually, actually, I like the green color of this thing. And look the reflection. You can see my my tail light uh, on top of uh, on top of the ceiling. And um, yeah. So as you can see, I will put this cover now aside. As you can see, this is the internal of the Synology disk station. Now this has only three and a half inch mounting uh, options but as you can see there is a slight edge over here and screw holes here and the SATA connectors over there so I am pretty sure that if I put this in here like I will do now it already you know it's already going nowhere so and let's see can I screw it only on one only on one spot do you see that I cannot screw it here at least I don't see any hole there oh or less maybe there is a hole behind that sticker but I think one screw will do so let's try that uh, okay which screw mm. now let me think there are different kind of screws for SSDs. Uh, you have thick wired screws and thin wired screws, and all these ones are thick wired because they 
you know, were in the um, uh, Western Digital drive before. So what I need is actually a thin wired screw. <sighs> Why don't they use, you know, universal screws? So you don't have to be, you know, all my screws. <laughs> I'm screwed. <clears throat> Let's see, uh, thin wired screw, I think I found one. You, I don't know if the camera can focus on this. This telephone sucks. Let's see, maybe now it works. No. Don't, come on. Scan on the foreground. Yeah, it, it will only, <laughs> never mind. Anyway. This this screw you cannot see it very well, but has th uh, thin wire, and that will make this thing go fit after falling into. Oh, you gotta be. It should, you know it. It should not be a snowy 8 day video when something goes wrong, actually. Uh, yes, 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 yes. It's mounted properly. And it tightens properly. And, you know, this thing is going nowhere. And, you know, if the 120 gigabyte is not enough for the future, I can always slide another SSD into it. For example, 250 or 500 if these things come cheaper and create a JBot uh, option. Well, this drive uh, retains the startup uh, whole schmuck, you know. Now, now we have that covered. Let's close this up. Uh, I think it was like this. Hmm. Oh, wait a second, wait a second. I see these holes over there, so it has to slide in place. Slide! Yeah, yeah, do I have that? Ah, screw holes. I have screws for that. I think. Thank you. And another one. And thank you. Yes, sir. Oh, that's it. <laughs> it weighs nothing, this. Oh, for all you guys who want to know what kind of uh, Synology NAS this is, it's a DS2, a DS216 SE. So. Second edition. Wow. Cool. So now we are going to place it somewhere. So uh, let's put this down. Make some preparations. Like that. And I uh, will go put this up. And let's go walk with the camera and the disc station. Because this is the place. Inside my closet, semi-closet, you know, where I keep all the the stuff, uh, you know, switch and uh, and all, and uh, it's just yeah, just a general area. So the only thing I have to do now is manage to hold the camera on and work with one hand. Okay, snowy, that will be very easy. You don't you dare fall off. Go in there. This is difficult with one hand. Okay. Haha. <laughs> Use the. Uh, where's the connector? Oh, there. Ah, of course it's. And that was power. So, the last time I used this is what it was just a matter of turning it on, and it will install its own system. So now, now it will do its thing and I will come back to you later to see you on screen what will happen and let's see if this thing even recognizes the SSD. So I see you later in part two. Laters, gators.
Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, my gosh. 